Okay, so this is um, called Hamster Power and it's uh, an electric magnetic generator and it's um, generated when magnets move in a, a circular motion beside copper and uh, so it goes in a circle and has nowhere to go so the energy goes into the electric conductor and you can collect that energy if you do this and, and you spin the wheel and you have to put it close and then you can read it off onto the um, multimeter and on average I get 7 volts, sometimes I get 14. And if I made this project bigger, I could use a chinchilla hamster wheel. I could um, use bigger magnets and more coils. I could charge things like phones even. So I would like to do that as my goal. It is a, kind of like a scuba suit. It's made out of a water gun. Um, there's about 30 seconds of in that. So when you pump off this, it's putting pressure into it. And when you pull the trigger, it releases the air through this tube into the water, into your mouth. So you can have that in your mouth, and you breathe out your nose, and into that. So you can pump it on the water, it doesn't take any water in. And we base our project on fresh and frozen food and the benefits of each of them. And with our results, we proved that frozen in most cases is better than fresh. We carried out two experiments, and our first experiment was we we played music mindfulness for five to eight minutes and we gave each person a 20, a class of 20 and we gave each person a maths test which had mental maths questions on it and they carried that out for 10 minutes. So we collected all our data then from that one test. And in this second test we gave them no mindfulness at all and after the test we handed out a questionnaire which we put comments at the end and we put boxes to tick which said did it make a difference, did you feel it helped you in the test? We corrected all our data and we placed it on a form. We uh, were amazed by the difference in the percentages. We did not expect it to work as well as we thought. And we're going to build on this with more experiments to prove our hypothesis which is mindfulness can help your performance in exams. It doesn't go because there's friction between the two surfaces like the CD and the table. And we use the saltwater mussels found commonly on beaches in Galway and to test for the quality of water. All the technology we used was home built so we built every single thing that we used here. Um, we built a data acquisition box here and we built that from an old computer. There's basically an Arduino board in the bottom that we programmed to uh, collect all the results from the muscles. Uh, it then processes the results that it gets from the muscles and it draws the graphs over here. Here's our project IVET, which is an application for farmers to help diagnose common illnesses in cattle. For example here we have BVG. Uh, this app gives you just a brief description of what it is, the symptoms, the prevention and control and the danger level. For example, this is high, you should contact the vet immediately. Uh, we came across the idea of carbon when we looked at anaphylactic chambers. So it's basically where the site is eliminated because of destructive interference. And it's just eliminated, it's cancelled off. And uh, basically that was kind of our primary source of research at the start. Right. So then we had to find something that would act like an anaphylactic chamber. And we found activated carbon. So activated carbon is normal carbon that's been put under either immense pressure or immense heat. So these pores are formed and we thought that it would act like an anechoic chamber and um, in the way that these sound waves would get trapped and disrupted and interfered with the uh, made a herd management software app. We hope to eliminate the paperwork involved managing a farm. We made a new ear tag for the cow using a QR code and we also put in a, this new microchip which can be scanned by a smartphone and all the information about the cow is then brought up on the smartphone device. This project here is a flight strategy efficiency in raptors and a raptor is essentially a bird of prey. It's anything that uses its talons to seize or to grab or to take using force and that's how they catch their prey. So this project is all about their efficiency. It all started because I noticed that some people when they start to develop memory loss or like the early stage of Alzheimer's, they forget to take things like medicine or they lose their phone and keys. So then that got me thinking, I had to try and design something to help remember to take their medicine, appointments and to find things. So I've used the Google Calendar, which means that you can set it from anywhere in the world. I've used the board Raspberry Pi, which searches my Google Calendar and then whenever it's a certain time, the red light on the box flashes, so then the drawer opens and they take their medicine. 
I never really had much of an interest kind of in science or anything of that nature. You might think, oh, this is too high tech for me. This is too. That's the way I always thought of it, like from a personal point of view. The more it went on, the more it became interesting because it's relevant and it's in your. You think you have a bad idea? It's not a bad idea. You know, go for it. We didn't think this could become one of it. I see myself in science, not really any other subject apart from that. Thank you.